I feel like I'd have to call this Clash of the Titans Monday. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's Bronze Tacos Nerf League. I am your host, Chaos Axel. Joining me in the booth today is Blue Rain, otherwise known as Arrow Undead. How are you tonight, Arrow? Yeah, well, it's not exactly secret if you're paying attention because it is, both names are on the Discord, so somebody could figure it out pretty quickly if they were paying attention. But regardless, here we are. Uh, we're coming down to the, the very end of the season here with having just one to two games apiece for, for every team at this point. So, And this is about the biggest game that I don't think anybody was really expecting um, all the way back at the beginning of the season. But here we are. We've got Catastrophe and Rebel Squad. Right now, the the fighting for first and second place teams, both of them at the very tippy top with double digit wins, only ones around right now. And we get to see them try and kill each other. That's fair. Well, by God, here we are. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't even pretend like I can make a call here. It's, it wouldn't surprise me if it comes down to something similar to our game against Rebel Squad here. I feel like both teams are going to really put each other to the test. I I don't think there's going to be a clear-cut winner, and I will be shocked if this ends up with a 3-0 on either side today. But um, opening thoughts, Arrow, while we're waiting for the teams to get ready, like what are you expecting to see here? Do you have any predictions? Yeah, I'd agree with that. And Volskaya is one that feels like it's kind of been, it's either like our game where it went forever or it's going to be a game that's over really quickly. I don't think you really get too much mid ground on Volskaya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have, it's deceptive, really. You think you have that big open area, but really that choke point can be a killer for teams if you're not like able to shoot right through it or get a sneaky teleport or something in the back. So just waiting for the teams to, to finish prep here. Uh, icons here. We are almost matched up for Rebel Squad. There's three of one kind of icon. I think two of those are like, isn't that Cell Dynasty or something? And a loot box. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going for. And on the other side, we got five Pachamaris and a Paris Eternal. So... I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Arrow, you didn't change your setting, your party settings on this account. Thank you, Grand Jury. So, actually, that's perfect. That gives everybody a chance to get set. Teams and us included here. <laughs> Just a wolf and then a cat. So you go to the PlayStation party settings, and it'll be in there to, to broadcast, broadcast voice. Just change it to always. Always allow. And looking down here, I see a 100-bit donation from Kira the Mystic. Uh, just as a note, guys, it's the first of the month. Bit donation leaderboard has completely reset. So it's uh, it's anybody's game right now. If you guys want to to start the war here, if you're lucky, maybe Rocky's not paying attention. You'll be able to sneak in and in there really quick. <laughs> Go but, for the know. glory, guys. <laughs> so not that I'm saying, Arrow, have you changed your settings? Maybe. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Chat, can you hear uh... Arrow? The can you hear Arrow slash Blue Rain now? I see a lot you of just cheering. Just call me Arrow. I see a lot of cheering coming in for, for Rebel Squad here. Oh, okay. Uh, coming in the Twitch chat. So there's uh, the rest of Rebel Squad or other ex-Rebel Squad members or whatever cheering loud. But, okay. And we have gotten confirmation that we can't hear you, Arrow. So we've, we've got that covered. Thank you, Grand Jury. Thank you, chat, as always. Pointing out every one of my mistakes because I live in the spotlight. <sighs> Just uh, uh, part of the job, I suppose. But, all right, I've gotten confirmation from both teams that they are ready to start this mad brawl, so we are going to get rolling here with map one, which is Volskaya Industries. Traveling to Volskaya Industries. I was going to say, I already see uh, Daisy starting to instigate the bit war. <laughs> <laughs> 
I need healing. Uh, great instigators of the bit war here, the bit, great bit wars of 2019, uh, of June 2019 specifically. We had some very solidified leaders at the top, but now it's uh, it's anybody's game here. So, I mean, I saw that 100-bit donation from, from Kira. I think that could probably be the top spot right now. I'm going to have to take a note for Rocky and uh, fight you on that point out your mistakes. It is actually July 2019, everybody. Happy July. The well, yes, but the Bit Wars soon. were last month. That's what I'm saying. The but bit, it's a like... new dawn, Axel. Oh, my God. <laughs> to <sighs> the future. <laughs> oh, my God. You see what I have to deal with, guys? Like, this is this is why I don't cast with my own team, I swear. <sighs> but anyway, um, interesting stuff coming up. We'll see what actually sticks. So we're going to have Catastrophe on defense first. Fairly standard. 2-2 coming in from them. On the other side, though, I do see the Symmetra, uh, if it sticks, from Yawning Grave. So they are running a 2-2-2 with it, and they might be looking to just try and teleport onto the point. We'll see if that's what happens. I see some cheers for Catastrophe as well. So both teams have their own pretty large fan base here, and I already see we have a, quite the crowd to start. So it's going to be interesting. So uh, Catastrophe kind of spread out here, not quite in the choke. We see a Junkrat hiding over there from Glob Dragon. We'll see where they stick. They kind of are spread around, just kind of hanging on to the side of the point. Um, I guess they're just waiting for Rebel Squad to make their move first, and they're giving up the choke. We see that Symmetra is hung play. on. What's that? It's an interesting play by a Catastrophe. You usually want to play up by the choke, but maybe they're planning something big here. I mean, it's, it can be really hit and miss. Like, if you get caught in the choke, you're probably dead one way or the other. So here we go. We got the teleporter set up, shooting in some turrets, which are getting some quick damage on the star. We have Rince running right up there with the Reinhardt. No shield, only swing. Waiting to get a little bit of recovery before coming back out to swing some more. Creation getting the first pick on the last Brown's Ash, though. Get picked on the Rince Brown right afterwards. Down. We have a res coming in on the last Brown's Ash. Uh, we see Terrible Toucan, who is Coltrane, by the way. I need to say it. Get Demon. Math not Math getting picked by Guardian. Turrets are coming down on the point. That Symmetra is getting a lot of value. Right. So we oh, see you're lagging a little bit for me, buddy. I don't know if nope. the chat can hear you same or just my really terrible internet. Cat and Glob Dragon were the last to stay, but both get fried by turrets. Oh, lordy, lordy. Ooh, I see a 400-bit donation from Daisy 4... 2K, 4K. I see 400. Uh, thank you for the bit donation there. I'm sure the chat will point me no. out if, I, uh, if I'm lagging, I'm sure. <laughs> I really hope so. I think it's just my terrible internet. <laughs> it's all right, but either way, that was a a great ta a great quick pick from um from Rebel Squad there to just immediately take that point with little to no resistance. This Symmetra giving uh, catastrophe a surprising amount of trouble. So if a teleporter aren't gonna take it, little lag, but okay from Tornado. Okay. Well, if it gets bad enough, well, we may have to make some adjustments, but we're going to hope that that doesn't happen. I might just go put my computer to sleep after this to make sure it's not taking up any bandwidth. We have an attempted freeze. We have a May switch from last round now off of the Ash. We're opening up with the Lucio ult from Math Not Meth. Little preemptive. I don't know if that was necessary, but they do kill Stony Baroni's Lucio. Wow. Uh, and then we Math Not Meth gets fried. Turrets, <laughs> sneaky little turrets in the background. I was going to say, I don't even see them half the time, but they are getting work done. A uh, hammer, ooh, spectacular hammer from Rince there. Tire goes out, it picks off Terrible tire. Toucan. So, that's Looks kind like of ending it right there. <laughs> Gonna to donate 401 bits, I see that. There we go. <laughs> from edits uh, by Matt there. Alright, so there we go. Took a lot of ultimates. But that is going to put uh, a stop to the Rebel Squad's push. One thing I want to call out is though Ultimate Economy is very heavily in the favor of uh, Rebel Squad. They don't have a lot of boom. They have a Diva Bomb, and they have the the Moira Ultimate. But that's really all they have for just a flat big old boom. Ah, oh, it's a Teleport exactly Bomb going to the back. Out, it does pick up. It wall. does pick out Star. It, it was a good pick. Creation getting but a pick said, on the map, not map. Yawning Grave getting a pick on the last happening. round. Kills are coming left and right for the Rebel Squad. Cat was able to get the res on the last round, who's trying to just wall himself in there and just hope that that's enough. Lucio ult from the Rebel Squad to keep themselves alive. We have Glob Dragon's uh, Drunk Rat came back in. Star comes in and ults, just trying to stay alive. Math not math picks Yawning Grave, but it's just kind of stall at this point. Stall tactics. Oop, not quite a charge. Great ghost there from the Moira. Rince and Cat are trying to just hold on as long as they can. He Rince goes down. Cat's quickly to follow. 
And that might Let's be it. We have... Oh, that's, that's a great boop. But there we go. We have uh, the Junkrat able to touch again. Last round gets picked, oh, but he is man. able to get the, the freeze off. Here comes yet another Diva Bomb from Cole. And it picks two. Devastating. I think that's going to be it. Rebel Squad with a strong out the gate showing here. Rebel Squad Thank came you, to I play tonight. <laughs> no kidding. Thank you, Isolated X70, for the follow and for Chaotic Phoenix for the fo for the uh, follow words. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my mouth running as fast as my brain's going. But okay, there we go. So here we go. That was yeah, spectacular take. I I was in the middle of commenting how they didn't really have a lot of oomph, but if you use the oomph right, I guess that's enough. Um, the one critique I would have is they that Symmetra in. Wall seemed a little, maybe a little too far back, but that was really it for the Rebel Squad critiques. Rebel Squad, I, oh man, they, they were doing a prize tactic that uh, a lot of people have been looking into lately, that Diva bomb into point. Yep. Absolutely and devastating when done right. Really but... quick, 500-bit uh, donation from Kira, the, from Kira the Mystic, just really wanting to establish, uh, saying, go Re Rebel Squad, go, go, go. Uh, Kira <laughs> taking the top spot with that, I believe. So, and yes, the bit war has begun. So, Kira anyway. Um, dominance. <laughs> but anyway, so, I'm sorry, Arrow. Yeah, you're... You are right. Uh, Rebel Squad has definitely come to play, and I... Other than that minor critique on the Symmetra, I don't really know what else I could say that they did inefficiently i don't know um so as far as switches we do have a couple of small changes last round going to the reaper to take out those tanks and star has switched over to diva um creation switch over to hanzo off of widow dark guardian on the uh orisa again and then oop, i don't need to be in this wall <laughs> and yawning grave sticking to the symmetry you see the little sneaky turrets on this sign here that is something that really hindered them uh, keeping the point on the second point. She just threw one down and they just ignored it the whole yep. time. And that could There's be 500 other things on fire that you need to worry about. And that little turret, just, you know, great value over time. They are able to pop the turrets. Uh, for whoever asked, I, I, this is uh, still the first game. Rebel Squad got a, th a three-point capture, or two-point capture. Uh, and they had about three and a half minutes left. All right. So we see Star Rebel dive in, gets d Here comes a, a, a big jump from uh, Rince. No hammer, there we go. No shield, only swing from Rince. Getting a pick on the Yawning Grave, but he himself is going to go down to Dark Guardian. Creation getting a pick on a Math on Math shortly after. And there's that turret getting a little little fry in the back there. Creation with yet another shot there. So we see Last Brown kind of getting covered by the Moira. And Moira now trying to fry out the Hanzo. Not going to work though. Oh. The cat is going to get the, the Simo trade-off for creations in the back there, but ultimately no progress, and that's kind of a bad stagger for both sides. Uh, Catastrophe is going to get the, the Moira back sooner than, than Rebel's going to get the Hanzo, but still. What do you think uh, Catastrophe needs to break this? Is it just saving ults, Arrow, or do you think that there needs to be a hero swap here? Maybe a little more point presence. They they seem to be trickling in very heavily. Nope. There's those turrets um, getting they're getting slowed out. down by those turrets. Dragons getting shot uh, at a distance. A like... little bit. I, I would question that one. Here comes a diva bomb right after, though. And it is, excuse me, we got a charge onto Yawning Grave, and Math Not Meth is going to go down to the diva bomb. Ults are getting unleashed here. Glob Dragon picks the Stony Baroni here. Oh, there's a D Mac. Last round picks Dark Guardian. Here comes a tire jumping into that room. Doesn't get anybody. Uh, no just weakens the diva. But still, this is slow progress. There we go. Acting general getting taken down. It's just the baby diva, and that is that. Catastrophe with the take themselves. Just needed a little bit of brunt of aggression there. <laughs> Moira Orb one oh versus that. creations. <laughs> I like that. Moira or Orb one oh versus creations. That's uh that's gonna be the tagline for this. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so Catastrophe, though, they're just rushing straight in here. Maywall is going to cut off the team, but it's not quite enough to completely separate the team. Barrier goes down. Oh, here comes a hammer that does get two. Excellent combination of ults there from Catastrophe. Burning their ults here. Then, then Last Brown's Reaper is cleaning up the rest of the fight. They need to get back. They need to clear this baby diva out. Cat's got him. Wow! Spectacular shove up from the from the, the catastrophe. I can't words. Okay, Lucio oh. ult and Symmetra ult are gonna keep the uh, the hopes and dreams alive for Rebel Squad. But no shield, only swing. Rinse does kill Yawning Grave again. 
And he's still going to town there. Him and Last Brown are ripping apart the Rebel Squad. It's just the two here. We have the Diva again getting kind of booped in the Moira. Baby Diva is the last one alive. Is this going to be it? May cannot get out of the point, and there it is. That's how you combo ults. Well wow, done from Catastrophe. That is a takeover. Oh my goodness. We expected a tough fight, and oh my gosh, it's both sides. Holy crap, both teams night. have an insane amount of time, too. Catastrophe pushing that through faster than Rebel did with that second point there. Slower on the first take, but way faster on the second. So I believe that's, what, 348 that they have? I can't see past the little blue thing at the top there. Or is that... Yeah, 348, okay. So, um, Catastrophe having 439 more seconds? 30... I can't math right now. Chat, don't judge me. Um... <laughs> I can't math either, so I can't. Having help. more time. I will get ripped apart from the math, but that's fine. Um, I'm okay with this because there's more interesting seconds. things going on. <laughs> Ooh, we there's see Glob Dragon. 29 seconds is right. Sounds right. <laughs> Something like that. Either way, to 39, 20, it doesn't matter. We have more important stuff. Um, we have a Torbjorn to from fight, Glob Dragon. <laughs> Torbjorn and. Um, Wow, we have Rinse on the Winston, which I guess they're expecting for the Symmetra, but if it sticks, Yawning is back onto Junkrat, so there might need to be a quick switch here from from Rinse, unless he can really get some work done on, like, the Widow, which I guess that also kind of counters. I don't know. We'll see. Um, they don't really have a forward shield because of that, so Catastrophe kind of spread about here. See uh, Damage Orb go out to kind of potentially seek what's going on here. So, Rebel Squad with less time. First on to attack here in overtime. So, we see... I love we, we have the Widow set up there. We have we have uh, the Winston now is is well protected, so able to get a lot of damage. Math.Math Math picks creations to start the fight here. <laughs> no one ever suspects the Boostio. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, it looks like... Oh, it, it is... Oh, there we go. Glob in combination with, with the Winston does pick off Yawning Graves... Uh, Junkrat here, so I mean, I was judging it, but it is working so far. This Winston pick. Um, I'm just oh gonna throw God. respect on Glob's name I right was, now. Uh, yep. Golden Torbjorn. I saw yes. it. I was about to say it, and then you beat me to it. <laughs> we have to stop and admire the Gold Torbjorn. This is Turret Gold with that because it should be. We have Math Not Math caught in a trap, gonna get protected by Rinse and able to get out. So that's already a weakened shield for Rebel Squad. There's a D Mech onto the Diva. Ooh, last round, Dust Eyed Creations, who switched over to McCree. McCree also getting a pick on the Glob Dragon there. That's not a good start to this. Yawning Grave picking Math on Meth. That's already half of Catastrophe down, including one of the healers. And here comes the push, crossing the streams. A little closer together, they could still keep Oh, here comes a Diva Bomb coming down. Doesn't get anybody, but here comes the tire as well for Rebel Squad. Rolling around with the speed of sound. Just doesn't get the DMAC, but shortly after will. That's a burn to Lucio from Stony Baroni for Rebel Squad. They want to make sure that they're going to win this fight. And, okay, they needed to kill last round for that to happen. But we have Rinse caught in a trap, going to get charged out. Here comes a Diva Bomb. And uh, Glob Dragon getting a pick here. Here comes the Molten Core. Catastrophe is coming back from their kills. Rinse getting a pick on the Acting General. And Glob Dragon on the Stony Baroni with the fire. Uh, Hammer comes down. Doesn't get anybody that I saw. And Guardian's going to die for it. Gosh dang, Torbjorn. And there's the boop. <laughs> math not math getting picked. <laughs> oh, and Star man. getting a really late pick on his to creations is huge. Just insult to injury all over the place. Catastrophe is is taking this seriously. This this mini dive comp on defense is working spectacularly. I have to commend them. Gonna follow the, the Harambe a little bit more. <laughs> Might have to, to follow creations here. Strong, some pretty good aggro here. Let's see here. I kind of want to find Creations and, and hover on him right now, just because I'm curious. There it is. Creations getting the pick onto the turret here. He's got High Noon. He's getting damage boosted. We'll see if he can do something with it. So we have uh, Cat coming in with the Moira ultimate to start the fight, keep everybody alive. Here's a crossed beam for the opposing Moira on Rebel Squad. Ooh, squish on a Yawning Grave. First pick, but Rinse is alone, though. He could potentially go down here. And yep, there it is. Yawning Grave is going to get rest, so it just kind of ends up being one-sided here. Oh, there's a lot of picks suddenly coming through here for Rebel Squad. There's the High Noon, but gets nothing. Here comes the Tire. It's going to kill Star. Okay. 
They might have it here. There's Cat. I think it is. Hold on. <laughs> Glob <laughs> is trying, but I believe she's going to have to retreat here. Or honestly, debate oh. just jumping off the edge of the map because she's getting chased. They're chasing him down. Oh, yeah. Rodden Glob. She's going to be able to get away. <laughs> yep, there we go. Good take from uh, Rebel Squad here. They get 30 more seconds on the clock for it. So, yes, that was a, a great take. Oh, it just kind of fell apart. I Rince maybe got a little too aggressive with that Harambe jump. Or jump. Alright, so we have Rebel Squad pushing up together. 15 seconds. Half their time is gone. They need to keep moving. Glob Dragon almost has ult, econ ult. Ult economy is heavily in the favor of Catastrophe here. Here it is. Here it comes. They're opening up with the Diva Bomb, though. And an excellent Lucio oh. uh, sound barrier is going to keep him alive. We got Die, Die, Die coming in. Winston will come in. Creations is the one getting the picks, though. Yawning Grave does die on the fire, but Guardian gets a charge there. Diva Bomb getting launched for Catastrophe as well. Ooh, oh, big three-man bomb from Star. Nobody was ready. Defenses are down. Excellent ult to turn it around from uh, Catastrophe there. It's just Creations, and he's not even going to be able to get close. Oh, my goodness. Excellent Diva Bomb seals the fate of Rebel Squad there. And I see Rocky trying to get onto the uh, into the bit war here with 100 bits. Rocky, you're a little late, man. We've already got a 600-bit donation. You're way behind. <laughs> Rocky with a, a gold three or a, a bronze three next to his name. A little unusual. But, yeah, that was... I, I I don't know if it was intentional with the timing, but it was clear that Rebel Squad had no more defenses, and that that bomb on that little raised platform was just the uh, the nuke, the tactical nuke there for Rebel Squad. <laughs> <laughs> tactical indeed. That's exactly what they needed to just push back and unify back on the point. Because, woof, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat, literally. <laughs> yes, this is spectacular. That was. A great last fight for Rebel Squad on the first point, and a great last fight for Catastrophe on the second point there. So we'll see what Rebel it Squad wants to so... bring in. And it looks like it's going to be a modified GOAT with, um... Oh, no, it's not. It's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. I'm blind. Ignore me. <laughs> Both you teams... You just see a little bit of Brig and Daria I, together, and you I, just, I just expect for... <laughs> Exactly. I'm just like, oh, that's GOATs! With the creations on the Hanzo and Yawning's on the Junkrat. Never mind, it's not GOATs. Um, Might as well be goats. Still strong, uh, still strong combination from Rebel. <laughs> but here we go. So, uh, standard. We've seen this comp before. Standard comp coming in from Catastrophe. We have Star going up to immediately contest Creations as Hanzo and just get him off the high ground. Otherwise, quick push in here. So we see the trap got destroyed. Oh, never mind. Got placed down. Math not meth is trapped, but gonna get the heals. Without a D.Va, those Let's fire strikes are going to get a lot of damage done. So we see last round forced off the point. Catastrophe want to make sure they get time here. Great charge from Rince kills Yawning at the start of this fight. But a Ooh. counter charge from Guardian onto Rince kills him. Charges for days, but Catastrophe is getting progress. They're hoping to get at least first tick. Not quite going to get it. We have, uh, ooh, last round picks off Dark Guardian, though. We see Cat trying to fry out Creation. Is gonna get it, and he's gonna, and she's gonna get Stony oh, Baroni. Oh, from Cat. Yep, this might be it. I think Catastrophe's got this. It's just the, it was just Cole's uh, Zarya, but that's it. We I have the jump crack coming back. Calls right now. Right. <laughs> oh. this moment. Great jump is gonna get yawning to the point, but you're just kind of uh, hoping Martyrdom randomly kills somebody there. A little but bit of a with, feed there, but I like where her heart is. That's going to be three minutes on the clock for the first tick here for Catastrophe. Spectacular starting point. All right, there's a May set up here, hoping to cut somebody off. Creation switch to the May. Waiting for them to push in and trying to cut the team off. There it is. Tire's going to jump that wall, though. There go. Tire's rolling around at the speed of sound. Diva Doesn't get anybody, though. Yeah, not a full death, but close enough. Oop, that's a good Zarya ult. It gets a bunch of them. Charge doesn't get anybody. Last Brown actually gets a kill out of it. But there we go. Dark Guardian, no shield only swing. Picks a couple off. I think that's going to be the trying. end of it. We see Cloud Dragon push. trying in the back there. Not going to be quite enough. That slurpy Moira okay, ball coming around. <laughs> going ham, egg, and cheese. <laughs> so what do you think about Rebel, Rebel Squad comp right now? Is this going to be the comp that holds it for the next two minutes, or do you think there needs to be a change? I think this is a pretty good comp to hold it, because Creations is slowing them down. 
uh, cutting that diva off was crucial to stop their push oh, yeah. from the get go. And it makes uh, it so that the diva getting demax, you can't eat the uh, the grab that went in to kill everybody. And having Brig save their back line is really going to help them keep uh, their other healers safe. I was going to question um, the Brig, but oh. Uh, ooh, as I say, was about to say something, it's to stop the Reaper, but the Reaper got a kill, dies in response, but here we go, that's the go button there. Sound barrier comes in, Diva Bomb going down. It's gonna get nobody, unfortunately, and then there's gonna be a counter tire from Rebel Squad. Pops Math, not Math, and gets the DMAC. Hammer Down comes in, it gets the one, it gets the Brig, who's gonna get popped off the point. Oh, there we go, there's the big freeze. Nobody can get on the point because that was a spectacularly placed freeze. Oh, but that's it. Now we have a Wrecking Ball coming in. This Wrecking Ball needs to hold on. We have Cole's trying. He needs to establish ultimate strategy. Hammer down, though. Kills oh. three people. Stops the Remac. Spectacular hammer from Dark Guardian. Prob almost saves it. it. Die, die, die. Kills the hamster. Tire gets popped immediately by Yawning Grave. This is it, though. We're already down to the last minute. This fight has lasted a minute. Rebel Squad is getting spawn advantage kills here. We had Rince has switched over to the Harambe, but it's our the fight's over. This has to be a quick retreat, I think, for Catastrophe if they want another shot at this. There's a Frozen Diva in the back that's not going to be able to get away. Cat is trying as well, but there's a strong likelihood that she too is going to get picked. Creation's playing with this food is going to let Cat live. What a mistake. That man is a sniper. You shouldn't need 10 minutes to line up the headshot, man. Come on. <laughs> Like, he, he was watching her. sweet, powerful, Ugh. frozen headshot. I mean, Moira has ult, too. I'm not going to comment on my the rest of my thoughts on that. Uh, we're just going to keep going. So we see Last Brown, <laughs> Reaper, all the way in the back here. He's going to run into Dark Guardian. He's just trying to get through the shield and start getting as much damage as he can. Hey, here comes Rince jumping on top of him. That's it's two picks for Glob Dragon. Oh it's a great gosh, start Glob for Glob Catastrophe. Dragon. Three oh. picks down. They Four picks. They need to kill this May. May is down. It's just the Lucio doesn't oh, get the ult up. Oh That's God. it for catastrophe. catastrophe Team White. Fantastic take. Oh my Holy God. Holy hell. Talk about a filibuster to the end. What an ending to the first one. <laughs> they would not quit. And it's going to be Star's Bomb that ends up taking play of the game first. That is first map win for those who are asking. First map win to Catastrophe in the absolute last second. The literal last possible second, Catastrophe takes it. Glob Dragon getting that key double and just the rest of the team following up. I thought for sure Last Brown was going to die there, but then I saw Rince like screaming in after him. And that like <laughs> improvised dive worked perfect. Man, their, their dive really took it home tonight. That is something to look out for. Oh, I must have missed the donation. Scary. I see Kira was second there. All right, I need to scroll up. Oh, boy. There is Wow You Can Really Dance with a thousand bit donation. Thank you, Ooh. Wow You Can Really Dance. I'm catching up now, chat. Thank you so much. Um, wow, you can really bit. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then Kira dropping another hundred bits as well. So, holy crap. That was uh, as action packed as we could have ever wanted. Um,. Hey, I got the maps working properly, so King's Row is next. Excellent. All right. Um, and then we have Mango gifting a sub. Thank you, Mango, uh, gifting a sub here to uh, Isolated X70. And then Rocky getting the 140 bits, trying to get on the board for Elim's DPS Moira for the win. Thank you, Rocky. Definitely. Oh, my gosh. Cat's Moira was DC. Disgusting there. You could tell the that she was channeling she all of her energy into killing creations so many times. All of that healer aggression oh, came out in goodness. one push. <laughs> Alright, uh, okay, so give me just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and start doing some swappage here. Let me change the names and then we need to get some subs. Um, Arrow, why don't you pick apart one of the, uh, one of the teams here? I, I will let you have your pick first and then I'll take apart the other one. I don't know where to start with. These 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 guys are blowing my mind tonight. No kidding. Absolute amazing strats from both teams. I am going to take on uh, Kat's team. Sure. Oh my gosh. Their dive, excellent execution. They needed to... I think they needed to stick with it for the first point. It would, probably would have got them uh, ticks faster. Mm -hmm. But it really overwhelms what um, Rebel was running on the the uh, uh, second point, excuse me. 
but yeah, and Man. like it's it's hard to really there's I can I don't have massive critiques for either team because both of them are playing right on point here. We had it went to overtime. It went to the last possible second. Like I I don't have a lot of critiques I, for Rebel Squad. I mean. Honestly, I guess I would say the Brigitte is the one choice that I would have questioned because I feel like just having more heals in, in either like having a Moira to just have the escape away from the Reaper or something like that because we know the creation is he's he's good enough that he can cover the backline. If you, if you, if you screech, he's going to turn around. He'll drop a wall in front of him, turn around and deal with the Reaper or whatever is bothering your backline. I feel like they could have benefited more from maybe a different healer, but that's it. Like everything else about that was spectacular from both sides. I'm going to kind of contest you on that. Okay. Brig is the ultimate god for backline protection. And I know Creations is good, but he wouldn't get as... I don't think he'd focus as much energy on the front line if he wasn't there. If he was constantly going to the backline, a lot of pressure off the front line of the other team would be lost. Okay. Uh, Brig was keeping everybody together. She's the perfect combination with Reinhardt and Zarya. Uh... Man, sometimes Brig is like the the best option for that. Fair enough. I have no other words. She's she's just the best option for backline production. She's like a she is a sub tank with a health pack. That's it. <laughs> Stony. Oh, keep Stony. Okay. So say I'm trying to read Cole's cryptic instructions here. <laughs> Keep Stony in and tie out. Where is Cole? I don't see him. Terrible Toucan. As I mentioned, oh, Cole yeah, Cole's alt switch. has placed higher than Cole Train, so that's why he's running on Terrible Toucan this evening, because it is the higher SR. Alrighty. Okay, so... Fair enough. Okay, keep Stony in. Uh, yawning is coming out. I'm sorry, I'm... I, I am reading Cole's instructions as fast as I possibly can, so... Okay. <laughs> All I can keep thinking of is a toucan on a coal train. <laughs> <laughs> With a really bad attitude. But, okay, let me double check with Catastrophe, see what they're going to be doing here. Okay. I still um, want to know what's up with their icons. It's like ghost chickens, because they're all spooky Pachimaru's. Okay, so we got that, and I need to switch all of the spectators. Okay. I am working as quickly as I can, everybody. I promise. <laughs> Blue. Blue. I wish there was just, like, a reverse color all button. That would be really cool. But unfortunately, there is button. not. <laughs> yeah, there's only a flip-flop button for the teams, and that doesn't cover... Um, just being demon for general. Okay. So I have one more swap, and then hopefully we're good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. So that looks good, hopefully. Excited to see what they're going to bust out in King's Row. Personal favorite of mine. Yeah, definitely. It's it's going to be exciting. So, chat, I will catch up on all of your nonsense momentarily once I uh, get confirmation from both teams that this is good. <laughs> okay, Catastrophe is ready. Uh, we are waiting. Rebel Squad needs a slight moment here. But, all right. <laughs> Coco, devoted to, uh, the, to the league, wakes up to watch league matches. <laughs> Okay, cool. I have got confirmation that both teams are ready. Uh, I am just triple checking to make sure all of the colors are where they need to be. Everybody's where they need to be. And we're going to go for it. All right. Map two. Are we going to get as much excitement? Let's find out on this episode of Ron Stocko's Nerf League. All righty. Kings Row, another versatile map, especially on this first point here. Definitely can do just about whatever you want to pretty good effect. Uh, great sniper map, decent bunker map, uh, or you can just run two, two, two. I mean, it, it works pretty well no matter how you want to slice it. What do you want to see, Arrow? What do you What are you feeling here? 
I want to see more dive. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's just something we don't see a lot in the group. I'm or the group, the league. I am the biggest advocate for dive because it, it's just it's risky, but the reward is so sweet. <laughs> uh, and I have to to say, L. Elmardia? I'm not sure. Thank you for your subscription. Uh, I apologize. I am terrible with names. Um, and your sub your subscription is greatly appreciated. Welcome to the subby sub sub crew. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the sub crew. And like, it wasn't even necessarily that they had a dive qu in quotes. It was just they had a really good Winston. Rince was really good at following up on the picks that Last Brown was initiating. Like, and it did really. He did a lot of work. Um. We see creations on the Widow, and now Valor, who was just subbed in, is going to be uh, McCree. That's their other DPS now. And we have Sinful Scumbag on the other side going McCree, so everybody taking full advantage of the broken McCree buffs. No goats, no bunker, just another 2v2 of people slapping each other around. <laughs> We're going to see some yees hauled in this match. <laughs> you know it. All right, and we have uh, Catastrophe on attack this time. Uh, everything else about the comps on both sides are largely what we've seen before at this point. So, got a couple bubbles soaking up some damage there. Test here is kind of feeling it out here. Yep, they're and just kind of slowly moving into the choke. See the junk rat kind of split off, you know, going to get some... Oh, but is found out quickly by the D.Va. Going to have to be careful over there. Oh, that's a full team rotation on just Ooh, junk rat. There we go, but and Valor with the flashbang uh, fan the hammer is going to be enough to get the kill. We have charges going left and right. Both McCrees are getting kills here. Slightly in the favor of Rebel Squad. Now that is a DMAC though. On to uh, onto Cole. That's oh, a hammer already. Hammer. Just immediately splat and stony. Excellent hammer from Rince there. This fight is over. Creations is just kind of getting peppered. Get uh... Rince putting a quick end to this fight. Ooh, Star getting the pick. The headshot pick with the Zenyatta on the Creations. Oh, <laughs> I love that's it. Got a heart. Oh my That's goodness. Really you hurt. know, while I could watch the, the no, I feel like I need to watch Star now, who has established herself as the better sniper in this one. <laughs> she, she's trying to release her oh inner my God. with that skin on. No <laughs> kidding. But, alright, we have a couple back on the payload for Catastrophe to push it up. The rest of Catastrophe just kind of making sure, giving the payload space, making sure they can get up to the first turn here okay. Technically second turn, I guess, but you know what I mean. I know. Oh. Exactly. High noon up top. Star Ooh, picks Valor. Curious. Star is channeling her inner Jonak here. You said it perfect. Oh my gosh, Star. <laughs> Star is Coming just a mad title. woman. Woman possessed here, just making sure that no sniper's standing against her team. Oh, there's uh, a grab. We have a couple ults getting burned back and forth. Oh, there was a charge in the back there somewhere. Another spectacular oh, hammer from Rince! No shield, only swing! It is gonna force the Zenyatta ult. Last Brown's cleaning up. Here comes the Diva Bomb coming down. It does Ooh, get Rince, though. And Creation switching the Hanzo picks off that fat cat sat. <laughs> Kyrio's logic, you, you don't need oh. to get peeled for Ooh. it if they're already Creation dead, getting but... the Vengeance kill does pick off Star. And that will finally put an end to the madness. Oh, they know they know that. Oh, Glob's over here, and she's dead. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So we have some regrouping. A bit of a late pick there on the Glob. So Glob's gonna have to kind of rush up to the team. <laughs> but all right, let's see what we're gonna get here. Creation set up up top there. Just just getting the uh, the echo locator arrow out. Get some vision. You see Star already trying to, to find the, the picks there. Creation getting a pick on a sinful scumbag, and now MV Valor's uh, Ash up there is, is contesting Star. This is a bit of a snipe off here, and Rebel Valor is going to win it. the high ground advantage here on this uh, midpoint. That is one thing I will say is that, ooh, Creation getting a pick on a rent, so there is a bit of fighting happening around the point. Star getting the vengeance kill on the Valor, but ultimately there's not a lot for uh, Catastrophe to pick up here. They've already lost a lot of bodies. Glob it does get doesn't the have much to take on that high ground. Um, mm -hmm. They don't at have a all. lot of mobility other than like the junk rat, or maybe getting the out snipe. That's about it. So catastrophe pushing in on the mercy ult barrier down. Oh, creation getting Ooh. a quick pick on a cat though. This is still progress for catastrophe though. <laughs> There's now a diva behind the tank line of catastrophe. Oop, dark guardian gets a kill on a rinse. Here comes dragons gets last brown hammer down. 
Doesn't get any. Bo oh, nope, that's a dead. That's a corpse. Uh. <laughs> so catastrophe is being stipended very hard. We have Star just floating in silence, hoping that her team can catch back up to her. <laughs> or she's just gonna try to go in and go ham, egg, and cheese, Joan X style. <laughs> we'll have to see. We have Death Bat Cat Sap breaking out the pistol, is tired of creation's nonsense. You know she it gets real when she brings out the pistol. You'll death action. So we're kind of stalled here. Rinse. Okay, there we go. Oh, Glob okay. gets picked by Valor. Gonna out get the res. Creation getting a pick on a sinful though. This combination of DPS Look. is is not working right now. Glob is still getting some damage, but I think Catastrophe needs to make some kind of a pick, and I agree with you that there needs to be something with upward mobility. What that is, I'm not is sure. On high ground, but Kirio Knack over there <laughs> right. was getting a little Star Knack, little crazy. Getting JJ, Star. <laughs> JJ Star, JJ <laughs> Star. I like JJ Star the best. There we go. Uh, so we have a new nickname, JJ Star, for Star here. Oops. Valor like gets picked end. though. Um, Star getting some more vengeance. JJ Star. Diva Bomb going into the back line of Catastrophe. Shield turn doesn't protect Glob. All ults are getting launched from both sides. Sinful is going to get popped before he can do anything with his ultimate. And that's still more picks for Rebel Squad right now. Cat is ulting to try and get away. Last round getting a pick on a Dark Guardian. The fight is still going on here. We JJ see JJ Star. Star. JJ oh, Star trying to get the pick here. Oh my gosh, both of both oh, but of it's the not healers enough. going Cat does get a, a kill uh, there, but now it's just the two of them left. Just Last Brown and, and Cat are alive. They are able to get away, it looks like. But that was ultimate bur ultimate's burn from both sides. Right now, each side just has one offensive ult. Unfortunately, one of those is a bob, and that's great payload sawing if you land him on the point. Running here. They don't have the front line yet. Creation getting the first pick on the Sinful, who switched to the hot start in the last 30 seconds. Poking for some ult charge here, waiting down for here. Ryan to come back. Mm -hmm. Oop. Well, in a way, that kind of works, getting that kind of stem on the uh, the Mercy ultimate, but... They need to pick Valor right now. Ooh, but that, there's oh, a D.Va in the background. Down. The res does go through for Star. That's a D-Mech on a terrible toucan. Oh, great Zarya ult. There's a Bob in, in the background. The oh, there's a great double tire there. Oh. And that's, there's that looks Bob like, oh, doing what he does best. Bob is dead. But it's just Valor right now who's Valor getting... Valor is trying as hard as he Other than oh Creation's God. Hanzo, who does get a pick. Creation jumping on the go. payload to try and stall here. Oh, Valor goes oh, down. It's just creation right now. They're so close, but they need to kill this Hanzo. Oh, Sinful goes down. That's it. Oh, Cat getting a few oh, more inches here, well, but back. they completely uh, missed that Hanzo from enough. creation who jumped in and started ripping them apart. <laughs> As usual, only action all the time here. <laughs> Well, I don't think we can possibly have a tie given the list of payloads. It would have had to been on that first one. It would have had to been Volskaya on a tie for us to get the 1-1-1 one, one, one tie. So, chat, I'm sorry for that. This is going to end in a 2-1 one, one way or the other or a 3-0 for Catastrophe. So, we will see what it ends up being. Yeah, I will, I will commend Cole for diving into the back line at the start of that fight and forcing the res onto, um, onto JJ Star. <laughs> uh, Cole had a lot of really excellent dives contesting the the DPS and JJ Star a lot and just forcing them to to answer or die. <laughs> I think the biggest thing hindering uh, catastrophe there is that Junkrat pick. He just wasn't doing as much as he could have she... for the most part. If they would have had something to contest that high ground, maybe drop Zarya even. Mm -hmm. To just get a diva in there, just to because their high ground advantage was there. Yeah, they absolutely. With the Ash and the Hanzo, yeah, they they were just free firing the fish in the barrel at that point. Gecko <laughs> <Can't go> Moira, <laughs> but we'll see. So now catastrophe on defense and both teams. The one major change is that JJ Star has switched onto Baptiste from the uh, 
from the Zenyatta. But here we go. And Creation getting the first Jeez, pick onto Sinful. Creation establishing sniper dominance right there. To answer your question, yes, that is a gold Baptiste gun. <laughs> Beautiful. So Rebel Squad making their progress slow. Catastrophe starting off down a body here because of the... Well, they, they are back now, but Sinful getting immediately picked there, unfortunately. That was kind of a, a bad start. Hmm. So we see Valor has stuck to the Ash. Rebel making slow little tippy-tap touches just to get that nice little beep in everybody's ears. <laughs> Nobody's made any major moves just yet. We have Creation in the back there just taking pot shots. Same thing with Valor. Oh, that's Barrier down for space. Guardian. I would make an argument for pushing in with that Barrier down, but... Creation getting another pick on the Sinful Scumbags Hanzo. And on to last round as well. That's a bad start to the fight here. And it looks like Catastrophe might just be calling it off. Yep. Catastrophe trying to cut their losses and run. Terrible 2k. Well, Cole is alone now. We're going to take some shots for that. So great push from Rebel Squad there. Creation getting work done. Just a couple of picks is enough to dislodge Catastrophe and force them back. We see Sinful Scumbag has switched over to McCree now. I guess, oh, and he's dead anyway. <laughs> Sorry, caster curse, my bad, my bad. Oh, wow. Ooh. Creation getting another pick on a Death Fat Cat sat, and then on, and then Sony Baroni goes down as well. So we're watching, we are watching Creations at this point. With that gold Widow gun. Uh, one person on the payload, I think Rebel Squad could probably do to fall back a bit and get back to the payload. <laughs> but we just have Valor just... It. just uh... Doing the tactical res. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, so Catastrophe are going to be able to come out as, as a whole team here. Although it looks like a couple of them are kind of falling back. We have a switch. Last Brown has switched to Baptiste and Star has JJ Star has switched over to Diva. That's going to cost them most of the payload progress for them to make that switch. So this had better be the combination. <laughs> I think they're finally starting to take the high ground a little more seriously in this yep. round. Uh, Kyrio wants him dead. Oh, here comes the Diva Bomb. <laughs> I feel comes down. Uh, I feel protect. But Valor is going to get a pick on the last round for it. Here comes a tire. Ooh, crazy Glock Dragon does get a pick back. It's feeling like this is going to be... It really. I guess it could go either way right now. Both teams have a couple of bodies alive. Ryans are charging out. Star gets D-Mech. Rince does get pinned. Glob Dragon gets a pick on a Toucan, though. Creation getting a pick on a Star, Ooh. then. Uh. Glob is just holding strong. There it is. I think that that is going to be it. And Rebel Squad, wait. No. Oh, good boop. Oh. We have a oh. roll hunt to the point. And Bring the Lucio. So Central Scumbag does get a pick onto one of the healers. Here comes a hamster. They're playing all contest masters at the moment. They have to. As much progress is off that point as possible. I like it. All right, so we have ultimate strategy attempting to be engaged. That's a diva bomb coming in onto the point. Gets no one though. They are ready for it. Rince is just kind of hanging on, trying to. Oh, oh, gets booped, but doing as much work as he can right now, and he's going to get picked. High noon. Waiting for that to come oh, down. Diva Dark Guardian goes down. That's a Diva Bomb coming in. It's going to be enough. And that will be it. Rebel Squad taking the second map from Catastrophe. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see who gets to play. I like that box in the middle of it. And Coltrane, a.k.a. Terrible Toucan, gets it with his Diva. So Diva plays for he days went real tonight. Hard in this instance. Yeah, no kidding. Just he down the as pressure. Many picks as they were gonna give him. Yeah, this isn't even a diva bomb. This is just I'm gonna run right in and give all the pressure in the world. Excellent play. Pure aggression. I I, could, I approve of the pure aggression plays from the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Wow. Um, Rebel Squad taking it back. Just kind of in the quick fashion that we saw Catastrophe take the overtime of, uh, of Volskaya, they strike back immediately, and we're at 1-1. One one. So this is going to be a 2-1 week, one way or another, because 
Unless both teams do not touch the payload at all on Gibraltar, <laughs> we are not going to end in a tie. That is not po Well, there are very limited scenarios that this ends in a 1-1-1 one, one, one tie. It would be insanely rare. As hard as these guys have been playing tonight, that it would be That a box is secretly part of the wrong. team. We could be cursing it. <laughs> Yeah, I think WoW's got it. it it's got to be, um, it was that box in, at the very end there in the, the closing screen. That was just the seventh player for Rebel Squad. <laughs> just saying. Uh, the Doom box. Oh, boy. And I look, chat, I, I Tornado, I know that's what you want, but it's probably not going to happen. I can't even say it, it, it won't because there is this, like, of, there's like of the four million possibilities, there is one possibility that this ends in a tie. It's just so damn unlikely. Like, look, I want to see as much as you guys do. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. <sighs> um, Arrow, talk to me about Rebel Squad. Uh, they they won that one pretty hard. What do you think it was? Uh, honestly, the deep aggression, <laughs> just the play that of the was game, a part of it. showed it all. The domination of the high ground was that their I would agree biggest with. up there. Uh, Catastrophe just did not kick them off when they should have, and Creations just took them to town. They yep. just said, I'll take those picks. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, math is going to blue. Ty is going to red. And General is going to red. Okay, take care of that really quick, and then let's go ahead and look down. Chad, I'm not reading you right now. Save your nonsense for when I get back. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't read the chat because it'll make my game lag more hard. Oh, than yo, it yeah, we been. don't want that. Okay, so. I am sorry, chat. I will have to live vicariously through Axel here. <laughs> and y'all are just going to have to wait a minute then. <laughs> Okay, so let me let me start looking at our swaps here. All right, so we have three more swaps coming in for Rebel Squad for this last one. So we have Cole is actually taking himself out, for yawning. We have Stony for Ty, and we have Demon for General. Okay, that's one side down. Now let's take a look at what Catastrophe would like to do. Math for glob. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, and then from the other side, from catastrophe, like I, I would have to agree with you. Like there, it was it wasn't that their comp was bad by any means, but they didn't really have a good way to contest creation other than JJ Star getting the occasional pop on both him and Valor, which was incredible. Don't get me wrong, but. <laughs> like that was kind of their only real contest was out shooting and unfortunately creation was just winning the trade more often than catastrophe was and that really hurt them not being able to get up on that high ground now gibraltar is another very high ground savvy map so they they gotta be paying attention to creation because you know he's gonna be a monster and just go in there get as many picks as he wants if yep. they're not gonna contest him and <laughs> pretty much i know I, I know Catastrophe's got to bust out of Winston. Please bust out of Winston Rinse. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> we'll see. We we will see. It's definitely entirely possible that Catastrophe switches over to a more dive-centric kind of a comp. But we will see if that's what they want to do. But yeah, I, I will say it's... This has been living up to the Clash of the Titans hype that we that everybody's been having here. I see we have definitely some top-of-the-line views. So thank you, everybody. Quick, quick uh, shameless plug here for joining us this evening and all of the subs and the follows and the bit donations. You guys are awesome, and we really appreciate you all of joining in for, for this nonsense of Clash of the Titans here. And then we have <laughs> Sean the Ginger. If Catastrophe wins, I'll donate 500 bits. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, we have Kara the Mystic, though, donating another 100 bits. Where is the lie in Creations being a beast? And I suppose <laughs> there, there's no lie there. We, we cannot deny that at this point, Kira. <laughs> it's been a straight savage tonight. Definitely agree with Kira. But yet we are waiting for Catastrophe to uh, give me the big old thumbs up, the finger guns. Um, 
But yeah, and it, it, it's kind of funny. Like, a lot of teams lately in the league have just gone back to the 2-2-2, us included. You know, it's just kind of that good old staple, and honestly, it feels the most fun. Uh, but I have it got confirmation from both teams it. that we are ready. I'm going to just, again, double check, make sure everybody's in the right colors, all the names are right. And we're going to roll into the final match of the evening on Watchpoint He's Gibraltar. Spicy. Yeah, spicy is definitely the way to call it. <laughs> we got Torb gameplay. <laughs> we are now good. Yep, yeah, we had our one yeah. Torb map of the day. We had our Torb <laughs> play to good effect. Uh, from Catastrophe. We have to go curse at uh, Titanic 3 out there. I see you out there, Titanic <laughs> 3. I see you. Damn, you Titanic never curse 3. at the rocket. Are you more into space travel, Axel? <laughs> Look, I'm not saying I'm an Iceberg fan. <laughs> but anyway, uh... so back to the match here. Um... We're going to see. I mean, you you could definitely run dive. I, I agree with the dive. I don't think we're going to see a bunker. Neither team has shown any evidence that we're going to see a bunker. Can I cast or curse it? They, they don't really need it. Both teams are so aggressive. They're constantly brawling. Oh, we're in flush. Giving me, what, giving me what I asked for. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the telekinetic waves going in the air. Right. We want Torp Riding Monkey. All right, Man, you know I what? I feel so... I would approve of that. I also wish to see Torbjorn riding Winston, but I just don't think it's happening. You have a better chance of the hamster riding Winston. Oh, gosh. But I think 48 is pretty close to a record. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Uh, here it is. Each team with one map. This is for the marbles. This is for the win, and I don't see a tie happening. So you can start cheering now, guys. You need to give them your energy because this is it. This is the last moment. The last map of the evening of the Clash of the Titans. And so there we go, Rinse. I'm so honored to be here casting like one of the most. Rinse getting the zippy zaps uh, in. He is able to jump out. Last round is on Ash. I didn't really talk about the comps because I'm busy hyping the matchup. Uh, we, we have Creation <laughs> switching to Wrecking Ball. So looking for Rebel Squad, making sure they have their own high ground dominance when they're on defense here. But here we go again. We have Rinse largely uncontested. Nobody's really shooting at him. He's just getting free charge, and there goes the barrier. Now we have creations on him, but... Oop, he's trapped. That is a bad place for a Winston to be, and he does go Ooh. down after being trapped. Ooh, Valor getting a pick on the, the D-Max star. Oh. Yawning Grave picking off Sinful. And now Rebel Squad Real finally getting some progress. I heard a res, but it must not have gone through. Creation getting a pick on the last round as well, and it's just the healers left for Catastrophe flying away. Oh, but they are met Jeez, immediately. <laughs> So Rinse coming back as the uh, the Winston still. Oop, we we have Creation up on the high ground as the hamster. Mercy ult in response. Uh, Yawning Grave is the first one to get blood here in this fight on Rinse. Oop, and we have a Moira ultimate from Rebel Squad. Uh, here comes the tire. Rolling it. Ooh, good tire. And then we have a Bob coming in as well from Valor. Oop, I keep flying through the door on accident. Bob distracted by the pretty bombs. Taking shots, and there we go. Killing all of the bo How did they get up there? Why are there bombs oh, up there? He, that, whoa. It's that was a high bombs, drop. Huh? Uh, I guess he must have launched it at the very apex of his of his jump there. And oh. speaking of, there's a squish on the last round from Creation. Uh, he is going to die, but Valor, in response, is going to kill Rince. And Yawning Grave getting yet another kill on the Sinful. Uh, last round is going to get rest. Oop, last round getting picked on Yawning Grave, and there comes a Lucio ult for Catastrophe to ensure that they live through this. Unfortunately, we have last round is going to get a Vengeance kill. Star is going to lose her mech. Here we go. Creation again, hopping Creation in, trying to get some... a great job of distracting mm -hmm. for the back line. Oh, speaking of distracting, um... here comes a Zippy Zap Monkey here. <laughs> getting in free tickles to yep. anybody Oop. you want from and then Creation just trying to attack the healers, trying to attack everybody right now. Like you said, being a great distraction. Oh, there's another Mercy Ult. Cat is going off with these heals tonight. She, she's gotten a bunch of ults already. Rinse is getting a pick on a Valor. We have a Tire coming in. It does get two, both Star and Last Brown. Sinful Scumbag getting a pick in exchange. Rez comes through on the Last Brown. Creation picks off Sinful. And we have, in the midst, we have a, an ulting Harambe here. 
Uh, there's a Bob somewhere. Bob is hiding in the back here. Kind of a bad launch there. Catastrophe needs to get to the point. I think they can contest this. Hammer down comes and gets nothing. Last round picks off creation, though. Oh, here comes that big bolt of the bomb. They just for a second there, and her bomb is... Not uh, enough. Almost saved it. If they had managed to land Bob on the point, then I would have definitely said this would have been over, and Catastrophe would have won it. That was an unfortunate placement of Bob, and Rebel Squad is going to get the first tick. But half a second to breathe here, which is about the uh, <laughs> the standard here for the Nerf League. Sinful Scumbag getting a pick on Valor, and Creation picking Sinful Scumbag off in, in exchange. Here comes the tire right on a rinse while she was trying to zap him down. Uh, Yawning Reef will die in exchange, though. Lots of exchange deaths. There is, I think, a third Valkyrie from from uh, Cat because she's a mercy god, apparently. Uh, but they don't really, without that Winston on the point, they don't have forward presence. Here comes a tire from Catastrophe rolling through. Doesn't get anybody. Gets stalled on the payload where nobody's around. He is focusing a little more hard on the high ground this time, but... Ooh, that's a bomb in the background. Really to, um, There's a Lucio ult to keep him alive. They're going so hard in the front line here. Oop, I apparently cursed Rince by trying to wash him. That's a double, but Rince is going to get rezzed. Alright, Star jumping onto the point is going to hold it again. They're trying... Catastrophe is trying so hard to hang on here. Here comes a Bob on the payload this time. Really good Bob placement. This yep. Time. Bob, I think, is gonna gonna keep this going here. You can ground on Bob, but he'll always come back strong. Yep. There we go. <laughs> but there's oh, a lot man, of kills coming in for Rebel Squad right now, though. This actually still looks like they're gonna get it. They got it right there. Oh wow. And Rince oh, trying guys. to hold it, unfortunately, does ult there. He's just gonna need to get out. Have you ever noticed Bob kind of just backflips out like a superhero whenever he leaves? You know, I can't say that I have, but that is badass. It's the most badass thing I've ever seen. Look, guys, <laughs> y'all... this matchup. Y'all should know now that I call Winston Harambe, and I've been trying to correct it for you, because y'all will catch me on every mistake I make. But we, let's be real. The, the character should have been named Harambe. Like, that's, that's just a fact. Uh, we have a switch. Balor has switched onto Reaper now in an attempt to kill the tanks of Catastrophe. And Sinful Scumbag has done the same, kind of mirroring the switch there. Uh, Star getting a quick pick onto Creation, though. Oop, we have uh, a trap there for Sinful, but Sinful got out. Last round getting a pick on a tie. Mm -hmm. Alright, Ult Economy right now is heavily in the favor of Rebel Squad, and they're using it. Oh! Sneaky Bomb? Oh, oh uh, guess almost. nothing. I heard a go, but... Hammer down gets oh. one, technically. Man, Star's bomb is... back does get one. This is just a cluster. Look, this is insane. Yep, oh, Cat's caught in a trap. Cat trying to get some drain, trying to get some sip. Sure, her orb does get Yawning Grave on the way out. Uh, but oh, Valor yeah. does end up picking her. So we have a bit of a Reaper off happening here. There we go. Rinse, last round getting a pick on a creation, and Rinse getting a pick on a Valor. Go for it. <laughs> I did not see the Reaper switches off. Uh, the switch off here. I've just been, I've been just so focused on this uh, this fight on a the high ground and then bolting preemptively. That felt like a mistake. I don't. They weren't in any danger at that point. But either way. That is a defensive bolt they don't have. They didn't ride in on. Yeah. So we do see uh, Rince is kind of hanging out. He was hanging out in the room. Here comes a hammer. Gets mm. nothing between shields and bubbles. Nice. Gets no one. I've been there. I, I feel that pain. Sinful was in the back line trying to get out. Trying to get to the healing. We see Valor does have Death Blossom here. We have his, oh, and he's looking for it. He is looking for it hard. Good. He's not going to get anything because Yonagrave ends up getting a couple. And here comes a Bob. Oop, pops Ooh. up for Ryan as he hammers. Oh, missed. <laughs> so there we go. Still somehow died. I don't know how. Don't I'm know not why. sure either, but we have Star trying to hold on. We have Bob in the background taking pot shots. That charge, not Which quite able to get in. the kill there. There it goes. Rinse with an oh. excellent flame slash gets the kill. Catastrophe fighting as hard as they can here, but Math Not Math dies early. Oh, mistake. Ooh, eh, we call that a mistake. It's going to force a Lucio Ouch. ult that they didn't need from Ty. But, yeah, he was too low to start that Death Blossom. 
The saving grace here is that Catastrophe is going to have gotten them into overtime. Ooh, Sinful doing the same back to Valor that was done to him, though. He's trying. He's coming in trying their hardest. Oh, yeah. man. I mean, it's Catastrophe could potentially get out. Ooh, there was a hammer from my blind spot oh. there. It's going to shove people off, immediately kill Ty. Rince is not content Absolutely. with giving this up. Oh, but there's some picks coming through. If Catastrophe can get any picks here, any more picks, that might just be enough. There's a great Lucio ult to keep him alive. They have that Junkrat kind of running around in the middle of them from yawning. There's now Tracers. Here comes a bot. Oh, Tyre does pick off Matt, not Matt. The crossing beams from the Moiras here. Oh, that's a long distance charge. It's going to oh, get stopped. There's a wall from a main is now. A lot of ground here. Clean out oh the lord, but both it's of the abilities are down. Mm. Oh, that was Star's. Excellent bomb from Star. <clears throat> and so there's a wall in front of that mate. Who is going to get picked? But Catastrophe is rolling out faster than Rebel Squad is. They are getting picks. They need to keep this going. Almost. Star is going to get the, that oh bomb there. This fight is still going. Hammer down gets no Ooh, one. This looks like Rebel Squad might have it. We have ultimate strategy coming in with that fat cat sat trying to keep the heels up. <laughs> ultimate yes. strategy stalled by a wall by his own team. And that might finally be it. Good lord. Oh no. <laughs> that wall a little ill placed it. from last uh, round there. But that was a great effort at the end there. I really was hoping for Cat to just pull it I out. I thought that they had it there for a minute. That was that was super close. Okay. God, I should have brought myself a bottle of water because I am killing my voice again. <laughs> oh, boy. Vocal suicide aside, it did. So, Catastrophe, even though they weren't able to stop them, they dip, did get Rebel Squad in overtime. So, if they can get this push faster, they got this. Like, the Rebel Squad has to hold them to overtime, or not all the way to the end, if Rebel Squad wants to win this and take it home 2-0, 2-1. Okay. I'm going to nonchalantly drink from my water bottle real quick. Right. Oh, man. All right. Well, here Just we go. Just torture you over... Just over yeah. there. <laughs> so we see Last Brown has picked up the Reaper Mantle this time. Um, Skin Sinful Scumbag is going back to the Junkrat. And looking at the comp, we have Rinse Wash, who hasn't picked yet on attack for attack for their tank. Uh, we can either expect the, the Winston again or potentially a Reinhardt. Uh, on the other side, uh, the only major switch is we have Acting General switching to Baptiste. Otherwise, largely more than what we've seen, except it's Creation on the Zarya now. So we have Yawning Rave on the... And maybe I just didn't notice that, but um, Creation switching over to the off-tank position. I like the flex from uh, Orion on <laughs> the Rebels' side. Yeah. Good flex. Dark Guardian getting that. the flex. Yep, yeah. got him with the flex. <laughs> All right, so ah, I'm glad they went Ryan for this brawl. I think they really needed Oop. him this time. That could have been bad, but we're able to get a ghost out from that trap. So we have Catastrophe just doing slow and steady. We see Rebel Squad dropping the point as a group now. Last Brown is just kind of jumping around with that Reaper. Here comes a charge. It's not going to hit anybody. Uh, Valor, the first one to get a pick on a sinful scumbag up top there. Rinch just going and swinging. Yep. No shield, only swing. Respect, respect. But Catastrophe. Oh, that is a tire already. Wow. That's a wow. Oh. Yawning Grave beginning an, in, an uh, unintentional kill with the trap, then getting a kill on the tire, and then blowing up last round. Three different abilities, Man. three different kills. Gee, as sweet as pie, but those tires are dirty. <laughs> yep. Oh, hello. All right. Uh, kind of a reset. We have ult economy very slightly in the favor of Catastrophe, only because they have the one, and there it goes. Oh, but Valor again getting picks in the background here. They have not stopped to answer him. He doesn't have the ghost, so if there was ever an opportunity to get a kill, it's now, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. They can't quite touch Cat. She's sneaking Oop, Dark out Guardian of it. getting a charge out on the last round, and we see an eye field over there. I was following that, following that Reaper out. Oh, big ol' hammer from oh, the top oh, rope from the gets top two, ropes. <laughs> but it's not going to be enough. All right, catastrophe using the Lucio <laughs> ult to make sure they can get push in, get a little safety. We have a charge out oh, onto Guardian. All the aggression. 
Sinful scumbag gonna kill, and he's getting charged back. Who's gonna live? And Rince ends up falling, but kills are going for both sides here. But there's this Reaper. MV Valor still on the Reaper, fighting, dueling with Cat right now. Has to go through. Does Cat have the playing ring around the rosy with Cat? I don't know if she'll do enough damage. Come on, Cat. Cat no. is forcing him back. There it is. Oh my god. Cat with the successful game of Bring Around the Rosy there. Uh, on the other side, though, Creation getting a bunch of picks of the remaining members of Catastrophe who are out there. Uh, Catastrophe is making a push. The last last round has ultimate. Oh. oh. Here comes some ultimates. Tire. Oh. And that's going to be a good kill. Good ultimates coming in from Catastrophe to stop that. Last round is going to get charged out, though. Shield is almost popped for Dark Arty. He's got to be close. Star gets the kill. Here comes a tire for Catastrophe. Rolling around. MV Valor coming in behind Rince, though. He's going to solo oh, ult Rince. <laughs> and oh, it's not going to matter gosh, because we have Star go. come in. JJ, Excellent. JJ Star coming Excellent, in. Dude. I think she'd approve of JJ Star. <laughs> Sounds like Joe Star. <laughs> All right, last Brown getting a pick. Here comes a Diva Bomb in the back there. Blows up the I field, but Catastrophe is going to get first point off of that. Similar to Rebel Squad, Ooh. just right down to the edge. Uh, Last Brown, though, getting a, an early pick onto Dark Guardian is a bad start for them. Hammer comes in, nice. ultra aggressive. That's a charge out on that Reaper. MV Valor is dead. That man is dead. And Last Brown, fanning some vengeance before getting blown up by Yawning Grave. We see Star and Cat all the way in the back there, getting picks. They are forcing oh, Rebel Squad to oh respect. Oh my god, bring out the claws. Cat getting the other kill the there. Oh Good lord, the aggression. Catastrophe is just turning it up to 11. They aren't letting Rebel Squad near this payload right now. Dark Guardian does have his ultimate. Oop, charge doesn't quite connect. And then he's gonna charge away. Rinse is gonna get picked on a yawning though. All of these kills oh rolling through Catastrophe. Gosh. They just steamrolled the second point. Whoo! Catastrophe not taking Catastrophe no sees the laser the pointer on Rebel it. Squad and they are going for oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dug good their claws in it would not stop, man. Oh my gosh. So it's there we go. Tonight. These two teams. So Catastrophe Excellent. just suddenly getting the, the, the boost, the, the internal nano boost here, just turning the heat up. <laughs> but here we go. Um Oh, MV Valor up top, looking for an ult. There it is, he's dropping down with oh. it. But started it a little me. early, and there's going to be a counter ult from Last Brown, who's going to get a lot oh. more out of it. Oh my god. The Zarya ult just to keep him alive. That's a great slam, but it doesn't matter because he's dead. Oh, the Reaper, MV Valor is still behind them, holding the payload, but with that Lucio sound barrier, Star is trying to contest. Here comes the rest of the team. It does get the DMAC. They need to kill this man. Envy Valor, Valor just kind of the hero of the fight, timing everything that Rebel Squad or that Catastrophe just assembled, and that is it. That push is over. Valor just oh. finally putting his yeah. heels in and putting a stop to the push here. Catastrophe not able to Valor pick him. Valor not getting pushed around. That's for sure. Yeah, made up for that that haphazard ult ultimate earlier, and he's already got it back. He already has the Reaper roll back after that fight, like. That is terrifying. <laughs> oh, here comes the Diva Bomb. Diva Bomb? Hammer not uh, quite able to connect afterwards. Oh my gosh, Valor one getting from the one. Ritz is getting a got a kill on a Dark Guardian, but then Last Brown ends up dying. Sinful goes down to Yawning Grave. This just looks like another lost fight. Valor gets a pick on the cat. Oh. Ooh, and he goes down. They need, they need to, to stop maybe. Valor. That is what they need to do here to focus him down like they have been doing. Um, theme here, uh, everyone's coming from the top ropes. <laughs> nah, as they should, as all Reinhardt should. I'm gonna nub dub this the Justice Reigns from Above fight. My goodness. <laughs> all right, so here we go. We're opening it up with the Mercy Ult for Catastrophe. We have the team trying to get Valor out of that room, trying to get him out. Oh, here comes uh, a Zarya ultimate. But no follow-up. Sinful does go down to Yawning, though. Excuse me. So, a lot of ults. Nothing just yet. Oh, here we go. We have the Lucio ult. We have the sound barrier going in. The charge hits the wall. Doesn't kill anybody. And Rince dies for the charge. 
Man, that wasn't even a deep charge. I feel bad for that one. <laughs> We're coming up to the last minute. Rebel Squad with another pick. Here comes a tire. Tire going in. The Lucio ult is going to stop it. Here comes yet another Reaper ult. Ooh, getting three. Valor, Huge Reaper ult from nice. Valor. That's it. Catastrophe needs to regroup. They have, they're going to have three or potentially four ultimates if Star gets hers back fast. <laughs> Tactical crouch by Valor on point. Oh, Lord. Well, Rebel Squad apparently doesn't need a sniper. Uh, they're they're holding pretty well with Valor here. Opening up again with the Moira ultimate for Catastrophe. Getting the damage through that shield. Nothing just yet, though. Oh, there's oh, a trap. Yawning dies, uh, kills Math, not Math. Death Fat Cat's hat getting picked off by a flame strike. Here comes the Deep Bomb. A whole lot of nonsense happening. Oh, Star gets nice two. Cat gets one with the orb. Couple members left, but Valor's still alive. Yep. Pretty close to a team wipe there. Yeah, Valor was had a couple haphazard plays, but here's hoping. Come on, guys. Bring it back. Ooh, that was a good slam. Stop star, but no one's down. Okay, Cat does is the first to fall in this fight. Last Brown does pick off Dark Guardian. Here comes a hammer, gets Brown three or four. To him to town. Oh, good they need to watch that down. payload, but that's a slam onto Valor. Valor is dead for this fight. Catastrophe is trying. Rinse is kind of oh, left out to try, though. Oh, Sinfo goes no. down, and that is it. Rebel Squad oh taking the 2-1 victory. Good God. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> I, I think you might need a beer after that Creations. <laughs> getting play of the game is the Zarya here. Oof. Getting that oh slow fry. <laughs> oh, and then I kill a pick right there. Yep. Goodness. Those are some crazy numbers, though, for that kind of Man, fight. Holy salad, crap. Salad. <laughs> Solid Holy crap! For everybody. I look down. Uh, <laughs> Kira the Mystic, one thousand bits. Rebel Squad, hell yeah! Thank you, Kira. <laughs> Kira, I, I get this feeling that you want to be a top of the bit war at the start of this month. Holy <laughs> crap! Ninety-nine <laughs> percent beam, one percent bubble. Yeah, pretty much. Oh my goodness, what a series and what a finale here. Rebel Squad holding strong to their number one place. I I got to give it to them. That was, that was incredible. Man. That was great from both sides. I mean, Catastrophe putting Rebel Squad through their paces at every turn, but ultimately Rebel Squad just able to take it. Um... I don't know what to say. I'm still trying to find words right now to describe the nonsense that had just happened. But I think everybody's a little speechless, except for the rebellion. What I'm calling I'm... the rebel squad fans here. Right. They've been just <laughs> the rebellion, on right? with them the whole time. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't pick out who would be MVP for this fight tonight. It was Absolutely. every map had a different hero for both sides, you know, and I appreciate that. And that shows you how great these teams are together is that every map you can probably pick out an MVP for each side. Like we exactly. had we had the, the Diva Bomb and we had the new the new coined JJ Star from Catastrophe. <laughs> we had Valor who came out of nowhere on that last map and just blew it the hell up. Like it's it's so hard to to pick one here. These both of these teams were just I I am I'm at a loss for of for words here. This was an incredible fight. But okay, um for interviews, uh Cole and Guardian, the captains of Rebel Squad would like to join us. Excuse me. So Arrow, go ahead and join my party or join the Overwatch group that I invited you to, and I'm gonna invite the both of them. We're gonna need to leave this party and go into game chat. Alrighty. So, okay. Um so let me just move Rinse, and we're going to move uh, Guardian, and we're going to move Toucan to Blue Team. Okay. All right, so go ahead and drop out of the party, and I'm going to throw both of us onto that team, okay? She is already gone, ladies and gentlemen. What a trooper. <laughs> 
Okay, and I myself will leave. Alrighty. So, uh, people, are you there? Guys, I don't think they're there. Fellas? <laughs> oh, there you are. Okay, let me, uh, tell them to get on in here. Go to team chat. But, all right, and uh, in the meantime, I have to start processing words and what to actually <laughs> talk about. Because, <laughs> hot damn, that was a game. It sure was. I was on the edge of my seat the entire time, and it was yeah. such an honor casting with you and oh, for this you. match. Yeah, and I mean, fun. while we're waiting, you know, again, shameless plug, everybody, thank you so much for joining us for this ridiculous Clash of the Titans. Uh, it's all of the bit donations from Kira, from WoW, from Rocky trying to get back on the board. Uh, everybody, thank you so much. The subscriptions, the, the follows, everything that you're doing, I just, you all are awesome. Thank you. And if you haven't joined the Bronze Tacos, please come on by to the Discord. We'd love to have you. We have a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. We are dominating all social media platforms. I believe oh. we also have a Reddit. We do. Uh, and Arrow, I was incorrect. Go to the team chat, not the group chat. Whoops. <laughs> Same. Is he so man in the right world? Did I come hey, through the right there portal? There we go. I came through the right portal. All right. <laughs> there we go. And here Your comes Arrow. You're making oofs there. Yeah, it's just part awesome. of the party. So, uh, congratulations, guys. You you took the two one victory here. Um, I'm kind of at a loss for words because that was such an incredible display from both teams. Like, what are your what are your thoughts right now? You know, at the end of this ridiculous clash of the titans. Honestly, uh, it could have gone either way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would agree with you. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my thought process was, like, obviously we lost the first map, so we were coming off, like, our heels. But we just had the mindset of, all right, you know, we're going to switch some players out. We're going to change our comps up a little bit and keep at it. We know we can win this. We got really close to winning the first map, and we just we knew we, knew we could do it. We just had to come together as a team, figure out the problem. We figured it out and fixed it, and, I mean, it, it showed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you, bind the, do you bind the pin button? Yeah, that too. <laughs> right. <laughs> That was, yeah, you you and Rince were both just going to town on those Reinhards. I, I love me a good Reinhoff, and you guys definitely provided there. Um, oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it kept me on my toes. So I do, like, I, I guess I kind of want to talk about the one slip up that, that happened, and that was on Volskaya. You know, what, can you can you bring me into some of your process there, like, as far as what the change was from Volskaya on? Like, what, what was it that you guys felt you needed to change to re-motivate yourselves and get back on the board there? Uh, two things, and correct me if I'm wrong, Guardian, two things. One, that Reaper in our back line was kicking our ass, yeah. so we had to deal with him better. And um, the other thing was range. You think about it, they didn't sure. have anything to ra hit us with range except uh, McCree, and I trusted our DPS, just team-wise, and I trusted our DPS with Valor, Yawning, and uh, Creations Please. over... The, yeah, creations over over like I don't know their range people. I because we had them go to like you saw like Widow, Hanzo, and Ash, and we said, all right, we trust you guys. You get that first pick from a distance, and we'll go in because catastrophe likes to play front line. They like to get in your faces, which is great. But if we mm -hmm. can kill you from a distance, how you can get to get to us? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point, you know, and that was something that we did comment on on King's Row that <clears throat> you guys had excellent high ground control, or, yeah, high ground control, and well, yeah. I think that that really ended up hurting Catastrophe in the long run. Yeah, there's most of our King's Row, and then obviously we switched some things up again on um, the last map, but, um, I mean, overall, I, 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 I'm so proud of our team. We've come such a long way. We, we've, li with, we've literally gone from worst to first. We've gone through just so <laughs> yeah. much, and... I'm just so proud of our team. They've done amazing. You guys definitely deserve it. You did so well in this match. Thank you. Thanks. So, um, I want to ask uh, I want to ask a bit of a joke question before I j turn it over to, to Arrow. So, uh, <laughs> what were the comms like when you had JJ Star picking off creation on that Zenyatta? <laughs> Wait, what, what point was this? What map was uh, this? It was on King's Row where we had uh, Star was picking off Valor and Creation left and right when she was Ow. the uh, the, the Zenyatta, and we, we coined oh. the new term JJ Star. <laughs> oh. uh, 
we were just like basically saying, all right, we lost our B DF DPS, we lost our high ground, we need to back up, <laughs> or you know, just do what we need to do. Like, but yeah, it was it was like, all right, we need to deal with this. <laughs> but uh, Arrow. having Stony run back as Lucio and pick up the people that were getting respawned mm. was a huge help too. Yeah, we were able yeah. to get people back a lot faster, and you know. For the well, three seconds we don't have him there, he can hold. But so it, by it's getting funny, the other two back. It's funny, a little short story. So on the end of King's Row, you know how I think it was like two or three of us died initially. And then I, I thought the push was going to be over. I mean, we still had a minute or two, but I thought the push would be over. I died, and I was like, all right, everybody fall back, fall back. We're going to regroup. And then like I come back, and I just see Creations, Val, are getting picks. I'm like, all right, guys, stay in there. Oh, you're fine. Just stay in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking yeah, about. That's what I said. I said, ignore me. Just keep going. <laughs> Uh, but Arrow, uh, do you have any questions for these gentlemen? Uh, nothing, just but I just got like pure admir admiration right now. I, it's a great match overall. You guys, oh my gosh, I, I just can't like I'm dumbstruck right now. I, I, <laughs> I, I, no I do, I, I do want to give like a lot of um, like props to Catastrophe. They played so amazing. Their yeah. entire team was just awesome. We were so happy to play them. We were really looking forward to today. Especially knowing that, like, you know, kind of first place was on the line, uh, at least currently. So, like, just hats on, off to them. They played an, an amazing match. They did so good. And just uh, awesome job by them. I was really proud to play them. Or play yeah, them. absolutely. It was, there was, and Arrow and I were just talking about it before we hopped in here. Um, like, we, we joked a bit about MVP, and it's like every single match, you felt like you could pick an MVP from both sides, where both of your teams were just firing, and there was the, there was a standout performance every single time. Like, and it was a different person every time, which just shows how great you both of your teams are. Like, I cannot gush enough about how fantastic the two titans of our league are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Catastrophe definitely put us through a lot, and I mean... We could have easily lost that. Just, I mean, just like how, like, I mean, we got the two one. They could have easily two one three at us. I mean, honestly, I think on any given day that could go back and forth between our two teams. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I can't really think of any other questions. I think you guys kind of covered it. And, and again, I'm still recovering from the stun here. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> your action spoke way louder than any words I can speak to you right now. <laughs> True that. Well said. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, again, you guys, thank you so much for your for your performance tonight. Congratulations on taking the top spot right now. Um, I mean, it's still between you and Catastrophe, regardless of the outcome of this game. I'm pretty sure both of you are well beyond anybody to overtake first or second. So congratulations on holding the top spot in the league. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. But, all right, so uh, looking ahead here, let's see here. Anybody know what the next match is off the top of your heads? Save me like two seconds. Uh, I need I, I need healing and Nova on Wednesday at nine, not or eight eight central. Sorry. This is why I need to have the league commissioner around more because then I don't even yeah. have to look. The man knows. <laughs> Nova needs. To, I I know all the playoff scenarios. Nova needs a three zero to keep the playoff hopes alive. Ooh, okay. And so I there is healing. a scenario. I, okay. And I I need healing. Needs to win two maps to like lock their spot. Okay. Cool. Well, I um, I I'm not gonna say who I'm gonna be internally cheering for there, lest I upset other uh, people in the league. But I know, I know. <laughs> I would definitely like a little bit of an easier jump into playoffs ourselves. So, but everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. You guys will see it later. But I just again, I have to shout out to the chat. Just bit donations left and right, especially Kira donating metric f tons of bits and cheering you guys on and. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. I think we had record numbers of attendance tonight and all the subs and follows. It's it, we, we do this for you guys, and we're really glad to have you join us. So with that, uh, congrats one more time, Rebel Squad. And, yeah, we will see everybody on Wednesday for the next match. <laughs>